All right, welcome back to Hello Sport Podcast, home of unqualified opinion and unwavering bias. Edward, uh, how are you, mate? I'm good. That's I'm the way. fighting fit, Tom. I wouldn't say fit considering the guests we have today. It is an interview podcast. Uh, back on the interviews after a bit of a layoff. COVID related. COVID related layoff. We chose not to do Zoom interviews. Um, not our vibe. Hard, Need them mate. in the room. Need them in the room. Need to be able to get a sense of the person, mm. you know, get a smell of them. Feel them, touch them, mm. yeah. taste them. <laughs> if everything goes well. <laughs> um, so, got a couple of bodybuilders in today, Eddie. We've got Brock and Joel. Yeah. So two Brock's, men behind. Uh, uh, well, don't cut so. me off while I'm fucking doing the intro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought we were both doing it. Well, no, no, no. I mean, that's never been the way we do it, mate. And now you're just sort of trying to steal my intro, which is already a tough time for me historically speaking. And now you've just you've thrown me off. <laughs> As I look to the laptop to try and. <laughs> Yeah, get myself, get my bearings. <laughs> um, the two creators of, or the men behind More Than Muscle. Welcome, boys. Thank you. Thank you for having Thanks. us. Appreciate it. Quickly, just sort of so we can get a bit of an understanding of More Than Muscle and what it is in the bodybuilding world you guys do. What is it you do? Mm. That's a good question. I, I don't think it's like we do anything different. Like what we provide is just information, or I guess our knowledge on whatever it is you want to call IP, you know? What's that? Oh, <laughs> never ending IP. IP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is it, no, yeah, we, is it health? Yeah. Is it about how to, if you were, if you want to undertake bodybuilding, how to do it? Yeah. Or is it and it's in, in our opinion, anyway, it's like the healthiest approach. Okay. So it's not, you know, like, I mean, we could get straight into it. Like you yeah. see every other, say fitness influencer, just promote a supplement. Yeah. as like the answer or end all and be all. Yeah. Mm. We don't want to push anything like that. It's like, this is what we do. And if you like our physiques, then you can, replicate that by you know following our ebooks that's basically the right. so it's your journey uh, more than anything do you provide yeah. advice that you read or hear from other people that you respect or follow um, or is it just more what you guys do well we like we, we've that. taken a fair bit from a lot of guys from like we've always looked up to bodybuilders from the 70s and 80s and mm -hmm. whatnot and we thought well the more you read about what they've done the less information changes you know like it's all the same thing it's all the same rhetoric mm. it couldn't be more simple really and then you, if you go to go and do research today you'd just be like you come out so confused you mm. know it's like a, a maze you have no idea what to listen to what yeah. to follow you know it's completely contradictory so it's um yeah we, we started it thinking well it would be good to put out our journey I, I guess and our training principles and whatnot yeah and it's simple stuff, but it works, you know? Mm. And we're, we're confident in it. We put a lot of effort into our products and our eBooks and then training plans. And we thought, why mm. not, you know? Yeah. Like a... You were talking about the, uh, the, the bodybuilders of the 70s and 80s, is it? Yeah. Because yeah. like, just looking at some of the stuff you do, there's a real aesthetic to what you guys do rather than just like jacked dudes, yeah, you know, in a gym too. and doing shit. Like there's yeah, in a dungeon the photos you guys have and <laughs> yeah. even a little bit the way you guys dress, there's a, there seems to be, um, you know, a bit of a, an acknowledgement of that period of bodybuilding. Uh, is that fair to say? Like you sort of, For that's sure. where you get most of your inspiration from? Yeah, yeah. Like even the, the fashion yeah. sense, the, the like you said, the aesthetic, even of the, the images. Yes, the images. To post. Yeah. yeah, everything's taken on film. Yeah. I really like that authenticity like i think if you because they've introduced in in competitive bodybuilding you know um classic physique which is supposed to emulate that to a degree and you see a lot of these bodybuilders who have a lot of respect for the guys of the 70s and 80s but it's not like they're you know going to any extent to replicate that image they're doing it in like a very modern fashion but i wanted to or at least i think like we both want to replicate it almost entirely mm. i think it sort of we're paying homage to it but also I think it puts it in its best light yeah. like, to dress the same way, to take the photography or, you sure. know, do the photography the same way. You know, it all yeah. adds up. Because, well, like, there is that sort of energy drink vibe to modern day bodybuilders in the sense of, like, uh -huh. all the yeah. fashion is, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. muscle bros yeah, yeah, yeah. and fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. A, lot of, a lot of yelling. There is an elegance yelling. to the way you guys do it. That might, that might sound, like, a little bit sort of over the top. But, like, you know, there is, <laughs> there is, there is yeah, like, yeah. an elegance to the way you're doing it. <laughs> where I'm looking at it and I'm like, this actually looks cool as opposed to like, you don't look intimidating. Sometimes you see bodybuilders and they've just got like veins on every part of their body. Mm. I'm like, that guy's fucking scary as hell. Yeah. And got like 
yeah, wrestling yeah. tattoos all over. And from a bodybuilding body bodybuilding perspective, it's not necessarily that they look better. It's just like they're more vascular. Yes. You know, it's not like their muscles yeah. are more separate or bigger. It's just like this. It's this strange uh, appearance. I don't know. Like mm. that, in my opinion, can only be sort of made up from like say drug use and supplement yes. use, like whatever the modern day stuff is today. That's the result. Right. Yeah. yeah. How has it got to that point, though? Well, just to think? clarify quickly, so you guys are steroid free. Yeah. Yes, that's right. That's part of the whole thing. Is like you're just doing it naturally. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just don't think we actually established that at yeah. any point. But um, so the the difference between like the Pete, you can pr you can tell people on steroids, hey, like it's. I mean, is that the more vascular yeah. thing you're talking about? There's, yeah, there's I mean, telltale signs. Yeah, you well, know, like, there's least, and there's you kind of have least... to be in that industry yeah. to, to pick it out obviously there's these freaks that walk around and you don't really you know it doesn't take a, a genius to mm. to spot them but yeah. but i think like to answer your question the way it's kind of progressed i mean in any sport or any discipline you people are always trying to push the boundaries you know mm. and it got to a point where the only way was to get bigger and you know you can kind of understand why it happened you know you every year everyone gets everyone competes and hops on stage and then the only way to stand out from everyone else you know, if everyone's up there same size and they all might look, you know, good and classy mm. or, or however you want to put it. Mm. But if someone wants to stand out, naturally they were going to get bigger and bigger and bigger every year, you know. And that meant more steroids typically. Mm. And yeah, through, I think from about that late 80s onwards, just size became the be all and end all, mm. you know. And Wasn't we always aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. yeah. And, and Joel and I, we, we made a very conscious decision from the start never to be i mean don't get me wrong it's it's tempting it's always going to be tempting because it's a shortcut mm. but we're always hell-bent on staying natural right the way through mm. um because in my opinion you can ne you can never get to an offensive point you know you can never walk down the street and look offensive if you're natural you're never going to yes. push your body to well unnatural limits you yeah. know so that's an interesting way of put it i've never really thought about it that way and that goes yeah. back to what you were saying before about that the elegance again mm. to pump you boys up <laughs> of, of how your photography looks and the imagery you use it is cool it's very cool it's a yeah. vibe it's like, a vibe I think it's I think it's a big vibe whereas to your point I've never noticed how offended sometimes I am by some big guys <laughs> like, oh, yeah. it's yeah. jarring as hell yeah. Yeah. like bro yeah. like you dude what's going on here like, very yeah. intense your muscles have muscles yeah, it's fucking yeah. ridiculous yeah. yeah and it's and the way they walk and it's just a, it's all a little bit marked it looks yeah. uncomfortable it looks uncomfortable yeah, yeah. they it look does. like they're chafing yeah. and yeah. it's uncomfortable to look at it's and funny I'm sorry to have enraged you, yeah. you know? no well but, yeah, I mean it's you know well it's, it's not you guys have been raised <laughs> <laughs> don't no 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 not, yeah it's uh, the you know the rocks of the world the Dwayne the Rock Johnsons does it piss you off when people like the rock because this is something we always we find the rock insufferable right. uh, but <laughs> <laughs> that like that there are bodybuilders who don't acknowledge it. it like what about like Marvel uh, those like the superheroes in Marvel movies and they're like oh my god Chris Hemsworth how did you get your body he's like yeah. just train him five days a week mate and bloody eat and da, da, da. it's like well you also like yeah, we're on in gear though, yeah but right? in three like, weeks yeah, yeah like does that ever yeah. does that frustrate think, you look uh, I, I'll be we might have yeah we got I think we got different opinions yeah. but it's but it's totally understandable because yes. the reality is yeah. They might take steroids. Anyone can take steroids. That's this is the current argument. It's like, well, if Lance Armstrong doesn't look muscular or vascular and he took steroids, anyone could be, right? Uh, okay. And that that's the case. Anyone yes. could be. But that's why I prefer as a bodybuilder, I can see from your perspective, man, I'd be shutting people down left, right, and center. You know, just or just accusing any, anybody I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Because it makes perfect well, especially if you see my body. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> that's how we get through the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see. I can. <laughs> steroids, steroids, steroids. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, steroids. Yeah, no, no, no. Way too. Yeah. yeah, better. Eddie's on steroids. I yeah. guarantee. You. 100%. <laughs> question everybody. Exactly. Yeah. But it's true. Like you, you know, all right to question everyone. But I prefer as a bodybuilder to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. So say the Rock. Okay. If he was to say I'm natural, I don't care. I'm not gonna. If he's putting a product out, and I and I don't believe him, then I'm not gonna purchase the product. Like I'm not gonna support what he's doing or support what he's saying but i'd prefer to give everyone the benefit of the doubt because as soon as you you limit your mindset as soon as you say or as soon as you read you know some stupid study on on 50 natural bodybuilders who all trained for three weeks and it was um concluded that uh you know you can only gain so much muscle mm -hmm. naturally as soon as you believe that that becomes your belief system you're not going to push past you know whatever 
limitations you set. Yeah. You've already set them before you even reach them. Okay. You know what I mean? So I like that's that. my so that's I think like approach. It, like to, to go back to like the Marvel characters and whatnot, like let's not forget that they're under great lighting, they've got makeup, they've mm. got you know, yes. everything under the sun to po- to help them look as good as possible. Yeah. In my opinion, it's completely achievable. Maybe not in three weeks, but... Do you but think that's what they're doing, though? But then there's there, there is, yeah, a there's a good chance, chance that, that, you know, they have six months um, training prior to... Like, you have a, enough time... Before they start shooting yeah, before to they get they start shooting, sort of jacked show. Yeah, but, but that's dependent on budget. And so for Marvel movies, they, because they have a big budget, they probably have... A pretty good time frame to work with sure there might be 12 months yeah, before you start yeah, yeah, shooting sure. but by the time you know you've got the role mm. so i think the first thing they're going to want to do is get in serious shape mm. but you Sorry, see Chris Hemsworth. i feel yeah. bad now I feel like yeah I uh, he probably deserves an yeah. apology yeah. <laughs> we just because you know we, we stick up for him he's a good mate of no, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> Re- reach out chris yeah. <laughs> um what, what is an achievable time frame do you think to be well, like, if, like let's say okay edward um, we lo- we love your vibe. We love your energy. We've also got hmm. like Thor three coming out. Chris yeah. has turned it down. Yeah. Can you boys get? Where can you get me? Can you get me Thor big in? And how long would it take? No, we couldn't get you Thor big. So that's the that's where you have to start thinking realistic. And I'm only basing this off my experience, or at least the experience of everyone else that's put in like the hard work over an extended period yeah, of time yeah, yeah yeah usually like to f- f- how you look now and this is no discredit to the incredible that you have wrecking but, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you, what do you call I'm ready. Them? the, the I'm wrecking ready. ball yeah, yeah, yeah I'm ready. um but maybe it would take you five years three to five years okay that's that's to get that's, to like hemsworth's body eddie yeah. i could get you thought big <laughs> you've how, always believed in me bro three and a half weeks <laughs> <laughs> so really you reckon like three to five years to get but Hemsworth it could Jack. be a lot less. It could be, say, two years. It just depends on the individual, like yeah. what kind of level of dedication they're going to have. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, sure. and, and the number one thing is, I say, you can do any type of training, but it's consistency over time. Mm. So if you're going to fart us around for six months, no, you're not going to see results. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. And training isn't, in. you know, it's not like you can't measure it all the same, you know? Like yeah. blokes will say, well, I've been training for the same amount of time. Why don't I look like that? But you see them in the gym and they're, you know, well, they're there now we three know. days a week instead of seven days a week to start yeah. with. Mm-hmm. And they're on their phone or they're chatting to the, the girl that they've been trying to hook up with for the last 12 months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, like it's not, then they go home and eat crap and... It's, yeah, they're not... And they scratch their heads after 10 years and yeah. Yeah. what's going on? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is... You know? But unfortunately, yeah. the, 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 tricky, <laughs> the tricky thing with bodybuilding is, is that it really is, I mean, it sounds like a bit of a wank, but it's a 24-7 thing, mm-hmm. you know, like, so you got to put in 100% in the gym at least once a day. And then it's like, Joel will be cooking six times a day at home, you know, half his day's cooking and then it, he's lying in the sun for three hours and then, So tan's know, natural? Yeah. Damn, I was about to, I was going to ask about the tans. I do, I do it's use... It's believable that mine's natural, but his <laughs> looks a bit... Yeah, <laughs> you have to question that. <laughs> Brock's like, well... <laughs> I've been doing it. <laughs> yeah. But just but when it's, you say it's, a 24, it's like 24-7 all encompassing, I sometimes I see you in the gym at like 3am. Yeah, Is that, yeah. yeah what ta- how, how much time are you spending in a gym a day? Well, it might be... On average, it might be an hour and a half, you know, but in certain... That doesn't seem like that much. No, it's no, not no, outrageous. It's, not. It's, it's really not. But then if, you know, if I'm trying to cut body fat or something i might be running in the morning and then i'm back doing cardio at night after training right but it all it all depends an hour and a half probably on average and then um but yeah then it's all the cooking and eating you're eating six times a day and it's all clean and you've got to be prepared for that and then you've got to get a good sleep it's really like if you want to make something of it and yeah. we decided that we're, well we're not going to do it half ass mm. we may as well put in everything possible about six years ago and we thought all right let's make this full time and it's and it really has been 24 7 you know so how do you how do you get into did you how did you guys get into bodybuilding i'm assuming separately like or uh, yeah well yeah i guess so actually yeah. i don't think brock brock really wasn't on board um at the same time i was but have you guys known each other for ages like yeah, pre since bodybuilding? High yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah yeah right 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 it's about 15 16 or something mm. yeah right okay we were enemies in school and um <clears throat> it's often the way i didn't know who yeah. he was until <laughs> you brought up some three years ago some memories that <laughs> Brock would have rather forget. But I got into bodybuilding because it was always like for me, and as 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 bad as it sounds, I always I think I definitely struggled with like image or or what I felt comfortable in in sort of looking like. You know, does yeah. that make sense? And like and the girls I was always 
going after. I was trying to sort of tailor how I looked around the girls I was chasing, mm-hmm. you know, which is just stupid. But I thought, all right, this isn't working, and and it got to a point where I took a lot of um, I took a lot of like advice from my oldest sister. Like I really looked up to her, and she said to me one day, "You look like I was getting really skinny to look like this sort of punk rock type sort of look, uh, you know, okay. scene, sort of scene yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. kid, yeah, yeah. Fallout Boy vibes, yeah, uh, and, and he's nailing it. Too. <laughs> oh. yeah. No, 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 hundred percent. I nailed it to a T, and I think I was about at the time I was like fifty nine kilos. So and what about Sam? Shit. What about Sam? Ninety five now. Oh, my diet was, uh, this is really funny, mm. in case you guys are wondering. It would be, it, I, like, I, you know, calculate, just like I do the bodybuilding, this is very calculated in order for me to look a particular way by, like, we had a party coming up in year 10 or something, and I wanted to be, you know, 55 kilos for, you know, this is serious. And yeah. I would write in this journal what I would eat leading up to that. And it was, like, two wheat bix a day. Holy shit. And about, um, you know, like, 200 mil skim milk. That what I would do is dip the wheat bit in there and like, and but and then I'd put it on the fridge and then until I was like about to pass out, then I just have a little bit more. Like I would push. Far I was out. definitely anorexic. You know what really? I mean? Really? Like, yeah. So yeah, never say that bodybuilders have unhealthy <laughs> self images. Never yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's> not true. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a bit. So it is rooted a little bit in like uh, there's like psychology behind. The... I, I think so. I think we all. Well, most of the bodybuilders I know come from a place of, um, what would you call it? Like, you know. Is there a bit of self loathing or like a bit of insecurity? Insecurity, or like, yeah. for a lot sure. Of, there's yeah. a lot of insecure people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Just, I don't, Brock, Brock so much, not so much. But, but I got, and then I got into bodybuilding because I got told by my sister like that I looked sickly. She said, You look sickly. Like, and she made it really negative. So were negative. you concerned about being too fat at that point when you were like, yeah. you know, you're just talking yeah. about like trying to meticulously get down to a certain weight? What was it about that weight and like the headspace you're in? You felt overweight? Yeah, yeah. Like, a, it, like that's what I mean. I think it was genuinely, you Legit know, anorexia. Signs, strong signs of anorexia. Because I'd look in the mirror, yeah. I'd be in the shower and look down. If I saw any sign of, of pec muscle or, or fat, I'd be like, Oh shit, I got to get rid of that quick. Wow. You know, what that, age was this? <laughs> like 16. Jeez. Some pretty bad so like, that's what, yeah. psychological issues. Forty kilos from where you are. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it would be. And so, what was the 30, your sister's kilos. conversation with your sister? Yeah, it was just that change. one conversation that really made me, you know, reassess sort of what I was doing. I guess, and that and around the same time, you know, I was getting dizzy, but just standing up and almost collapsing, that kind of thing. Obviously, I knew oh, this is unhealthy. Yeah. What else looks good? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's laughing. Yeah, yeah. This is a really sad. You, know, you can tell you've story. been friends though for yeah, a long yeah. time. That's exactly. exactly what it is. And he leaned like, into the microphone. Going. He wants e- the viewers to. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the enemy yeah. coming out in him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Lent in a laugh. Yeah. Carry on. So, though. so uh, I don't know. I think at the time, like I was watching, you know, a lot of spending a lot of time at home watching a lot of movies, and I really liked Arnold Schwarzenegger and, That's what I was say. and all that sort of thing. And I instantly, from it was almost like one extreme to the other. Mm. Well, I guess obesity might be the the opposite, but similar i gravitated toward that and i thought all right well, let's start pursuing that and steroids never crossed my mind it was just you know reading up on training and diet and i just followed arnold's principles from day dot so i think maybe that sort of helped you know sculpt the sort of physique i have i didn't look at anything else like i wasn't really? interested in like the phil he's these are like modern bodybuilders I wasn't interested in that. all right phil's no longer with us or is that that shame phil's still with us he's alive and well yeah. Yeah. Sean with, the, with the short he's got shot legs Penner, michael penner penner Ronnie Coleman. Oh, Ronnie Coleman. Oh, yeah. a documentary um, on. Oh, I think yeah. it was yeah, it's on, on Netflix Plain or something. Ones. And he's, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. that was tough to watch. Outrageous, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. That was, yeah, it was hard to watch. Wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So, for you growing up, did you have like? Oh, because I was thinking about this when I was thinking you guys coming in. It was like growing up. My heroes, in inverted commas, were like Arnie, Van Dam, WWF wrestlers, and shit. Like all these people, where it's like their bodies were ridiculous like huge and that's what made them right and, and like, but like that was sort of they were the things that were put in front of us and then you look at like James Bond in the 70s it was like he Eddie could have been James Bond in the 70s there was no like I've got the chest and that's not you've got the chest there's no pump so like was there was there was there any influence for you in that regard I couldn't I couldn't care less honestly like a, a lot of people will give you a different answer and they'll say even comic book heroes you know they, mm. you know you know they see these outrageous figures wrestlers or um, yeah, the or whole, even cartoons like Biker Lich- Mice from Mars. If anyone remembers, it was like mice yeah, with yeah, six yeah, packs, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can't Dragon get away from yeah. 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 They're all yeah. Yeah. these yeah. mice are better. <laughs> but yeah. I, I yeah. walk past, you know, health magazines and just think, well, that's unattainable. I didn't care. I didn't never ever looked up to it. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, growing up, I always played 
sport, I always played league and whatnot, and then quickly found out that my left hand pass wasn't going to get me anywhere. <laughs> and so when then Joel went off to work experience in year ten for a week with his brother, who was a PT. And he came back and we we were all like, jeez, Joel's huge. I was going for Have a week. Have you seen him? <laughs> Probably did about two hours of training. A week. We we're like, <laughs> jeez, he's Jack. <laughs> and, then, and then shortly after then, a group of us started training from school and whatnot. And kind of just snowballed, I guess. Mm. You know, and I, I figured that... And I started getting, you know, very comfortable in the gym and whatnot, enjoying it a lot. And you, then I'd be at uni with Eddie and whatnot. And you'd have a big night out and before that I was at the gym and then I'd race home and I'd have a protein shake and then I'd have two bottles of red wine and go out. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it was yeah. always just ingrained. Like yeah, I couldn't yeah. get rid of it. Yeah. Even if I was trying to be someone else, Party you know, and yeah, 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 yeah. I was wearing hippie pants, but then I'd quickly change in my short shorts and go to the gym and, <laughs> yeah. and we swap used to, back. You used to try to get me down to the gym a couple of times and I was always very impressed with like his attitude in there. Yeah. Like I was sort of like going, I'd do a bit of chess, you know what I mean? I'd walk around and, I've been to the gym with you. Yeah, where, maybe where, some where, flies, so. maybe some curls. You know, more I mean? time spent yeah. just doing nothing. Well, mm. it's giggles and yarn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Like, who wants to keep me company? Yeah, exactly. Have a right. laugh. But yeah. you were always very disciplined. Like, I, yeah. I noticed about that about you as soon as I met you. Golden rule is no giggling in the gym. No, no you know. Yeah, I felt like I might have been too relaxed <laughs> for your. Yeah. You know, bringing you down at a peg or two. I think. Yeah, you're yeah. a hindrance. You were, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, you weren't just, helping him gain. Look, they stop yeah. asking me to come. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the message is stopped. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, message was yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Left on red. Yeah, yeah but um, yeah, and then after, then I honestly I can't tell you why, but I think honestly I think putting on a little bit more muscle than the average person, it's recognised. And as stupid as it sounds, you get known for being bigger mm -hmm. you know and people know you as oh, the guy, guy that goes to the gym and then joel and i just one day decide all right let's give it a crack let's do it but you, yeah, were, but you, you were always quite drawn to arnie as well weren't you and that i remember a bit but but never like no i wouldn't no. ever say hero status yeah right, okay. not that i disapproved of how he looked no but. and you know hero might be too extreme but you know just like the sort of you couldn't get away from it. You're like mm. Arnie's everywhere. His physique was like the leading man in Hollywood. Is like yeah. fucking huge. Yeah. yeah. Um, back to you were saying you cook. How how much time are you spending preparing your meals and shit? Like it doesn't take me that much time. Brock does things a little bit differently. I think he prepares stuff ahead of time, like maybe the night before. Right. But I like to eat my meals fresh. And if I'm eating six times a day, maybe five of those are going to be meals. One six a, times a shake a day. I make at home. Yeah. So what are you eating? It's gonna be like turkey and veg, steak, veg, sweet potato. Enough meat to make you feel guilty mm -hmm. about. Oh, about you know, like over consumption. Yeah, like, you, okay. like we feel like we're fifty percent of the consumers. You know. Okay, but yeah, and you're like farting like greenhouse and, gases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are there bodybuilders out there that are? no meat sort of like vegan or yeah. vegetarian yeah approach. film far between, but yeah, there are not, I don't think there's many, or at least not many well-known ones. Yeah. Like, I don't know how well they're... they're Can um, I ask this question? Is going. And this was just a um, shout out to James Harvey of Yuli's Brews. I was just talking to him before I came in here and I was saying, you guys, we're going to have a chat with you. And he just came out with this. Feel free to answer it if you want to or don't. But everyone always talks, like a lot of sort of people in your game, the, the whole thing's like, oh my God, their diet. Have a look at this person's diet. How many calories they ate a day? He wanted to know, do you guys shit way more than like the average person? I know this is a crass question, but like, <laughs> what's, that's all right. What what is the average? Well, person? I mean, like, Once well, if you're eating, if you're eating no. six times a day, do you shit like proportionally to the amount you're eating, or is it kind of like because you're using it all up? Yeah, that it's pretty. Stock I think it must be the case. Just one I mean, solid one a day. Yeah, one biggie. Mm. Yeah. yeah, fuck! I'm doing more than these bodybuilders, Eddie. <laughs> um, well, there you go. That's the myth busted. But I think they're yeah. using their fuel, whereas you're. Well, I'm, I, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, sitting, I'm nesting. It's just on waiting it. to come nesting out. We're <laughs> waiting for it to be yeah. <laughs> taken on too much. Yeah, yeah interesting. Okay. Yeah. But um, is it, is so all go. diet though? Like, you know, you, you Mate, always here, you want to lose weight, you want to get in shape. It's 90% diet. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we definitely think so. I think a lot of other, um, you know, uh, well, I wouldn't even call them bodybuilders, like fitness, fitness influencers yeah, yeah. think otherwise. But we... We rely solely on whole foods. We don't take any supplements either. So it's not just... Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not just steroids. We we don't take any supplements. Nothing no, huge. No. Nah. Okay. It's all... So yes. what's the... Sh you said before you have a shake, what would that be? That'd be egg whites and fruit. Maybe some baby spinach. 
Okay. It's actually yeah. a delicious. You guys should try it. Yeah. No, that sounds nice. That actually sounded great. It tastes, yeah. like, it tastes like a boost juice. I mean, you like use egg before. whites in, in cocktails. Yeah, yes, you do. True. Yes, you do. And yeah. my missus, in her many attempts to get me to look like you guys, has made me a, you know, a shake or two. <laughs> She's with constantly on our Instagram <laughs> pages. <laughs> Why can't you look Jesus more Christ. like the MTM boys? Dude, she, uh, she saw me do a beep test on the weekend and it was like. We're, we're dieting from Monday. I was like, yeah, uh, no, nah, I'm cool. I get it. You made out like that was your decision. Well, it was when I saw the video footage. Trust me. I saw, we did a beep test for the podcast and I just could not. If like if you guys saw yourselves looking like that, it'd be like nightmare. Fuel. What's the? Yeah. Can you reveal the scores or not yet? Uh, well, actually, I've got to edit the video. I'll just tell you guys. I got seven, which is horrendous. Yeah. I got 11. Which okay. is much better than me. Seven is like the standard for like um, like eleven year old boys, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's look something along or those lines. Paraplegia. Yeah, but eleven. Yeah, so I was thinking I was being very generous. <laughs> eleven like year old elite boys. Elite crawlers. People <laughs> 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 yeah. cra- yeah. yeah. like crawl. Like really yeah, cra- yeah, crawl for a living. Like yeah. Kurt Fernley just using his arms, and that's yeah. no knock on Kurt. I'm saying yeah, that's yeah. a good, that's well, a good beat for Kurt. Yeah, 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 no, it's not a knock on Kurt. It's a knock on you. Yeah, so Seven was, uh, and like, so Steph and Steph was watching in Ella and like our friends were there and it was like, got to, se- I was like, as, as, we, as we started going, it was like, we're only on level two and I'm like, yeah, I've just got level six in my mind now. I'm like, I just have to get to level six. This is fucking ridiculous. Then made it to level six and I'm like, okay, I know I'm like, I can try to push myself a little bit longer, but stopping at seven and just like collapsing was, uh, it was a, Heartbreaking. Mm. <laughs> it's like wet grass. And I'm like, oh. and it was wet. It was it had been pouring rain. We had a huge night. Well, at least I had you. I mean, sort of had. look, I give me the excuse, bro. I'd had a big night. Well, I'm Please, not prepared to be yeah, Big night. <laughs> Up in preparation for the beep test. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, but we digress. So, yes. where where is it at now in terms of do you do you guys compete and and how often or is it more? Oh, that's a, we have. We, we have, don't. We don't. Yeah. There's no plan to compete i don't see myself competing again i don't particularly i don't like uh i don't mind like getting up i actually don't mind getting up on stage i don't, kind of like it don't like being told you don't look good that's right <laughs> because you, you don't like the judgment side of it right that no yeah. that's fine like, it's not it's, it's it's such a it's the if you want a, it's a combination a of decent things. day out for a laugh go to a bodybuilding conference watch it is. yeah oh, it's just the most be prepared absurd. to fork out 60 bucks for it but. oh really well yeah, 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 yeah you can either you know you can run a musical and have a team of a hundred people, you know, work six months on some, you know, fantastic show, mm. or you can go and spend the same amount at a bodybuilding show. Guys, amateur up there. bodybuilding competition. Well, so give me the vibe. It's un- give yeah. me the vibe. Uh, Where are they held? Um, Who's there? Well, what sort of characters I'll, I'll, are on? I'll summarize it in, in a word: hostile. <laughs> <laughs> hostile. Really? So well, it's like so just what? It's not. It's not at all of? as a competitor. Uh, it's, unless you're <laughs> in with the officials and um, sponsors and whatnot. Unless you're in with them and you know them, like they all know each other, they're all very chummy. You know? Yeah. So, uh, like anyone just people. anyone that d- yeah anyone that doesn't know them like us and we're coming in that they're they're very standoffish, they're very cold, they're oh, very really? hostile. Like it's not, it's not a welcoming environment by any means. Right. Well, yeah. we did. Um, I did rather the first bodybuilding competition competition about four years ago, I think, and it was the the New South Wales Country Classic held in Orange, New South Wales. Oh, that sounds Australia. like... You can, imagine the, you can imagine the turnout. Yeah. <laughs> the fruit bowl in Australia. <laughs> and I've rocked up and it was my first one. I thought, okay, I'll just go along with whatever's necessary. I've got this out, like disgusting fake tan. I'm ashamed of myself for doing it. I got a fake, fake tan yourself? The fake tan. No, no. <laughs> I've got that professionally done. done. Oh, okay. And, um, and then, and it, mind you, it wasn't nearly as outrageous as everyone else. Got that done. Wore my little red Spanx, glittery Spanx. Where do you like, get those? Uh, is that like something you have to buy like online? Them? Black you... market. Yeah, yeah, most people are. They were are making it. Yeah, <laughs> they well, were used. I was asking for the like. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> that that's that's a, a, that's a true story. Yeah. The second yeah, hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, you walk in there. You walk into this. This I don't know. It was the local theatre or something. Yeah, well, the local the, lo- the local town well, hall. They usually held yeah, 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 yeah. the no. civic center. Yeah. <laughs> they usually well, held at RSL. Gymnasium RSL. Yeah, like Genuinely. Sharky, like Cronulla really? Shark. We've been there. See the old war vets in there going, I don't know what these fucking weird. <laughs> Genuinely, yeah. you just came in for felt, a beer. What the fuck? Yeah, well, <laughs> never feel more ashamed of yourself than walking past a, a table of veterans. <laughs> fake <laughs> fake <Yeah>. tan. <laughs> but and they just put their heads there. Yeah, yeah. But in fight brothers. 
<laughs> you walk through these doors and by no means is it hustle and bustle to get into Orange Civic Centre. And it, it's like, imagine walking into a preschool butt naked. They're, they're the types of looks you get from everyone. You know, they're all sitting there and eating rice cakes and peanut butter. And, and they're all there for the same reason, but they're looking at you like, yeah, you're the odd one this, out. Like, this, this alien. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who's this dickhead? And, oh, it's Did just, you get by yourself? Joel no, came I came with him. him. He told me he was going to do it as well, but pulled out. I pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> and I, You're on your own, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and then to make matters worse, I was the only one in my category. So, <laughs> so you won. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got gold medal, which is worse than coming last in a in the yeah. Big because lineup. like, what are you competing yeah. for? You may as well just go and take the trophy. Exactly. However, yeah. most of the guys we know that are the only people that were in their category and win gloat about it on social media oh, we, they go we, they yeah. put up a photo with the trophy and go we did it baby yeah. they don't put up any comparison photos no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so, so you're won. telling me Tom we could get Tom quite yeah. literally yeah. and I could win a gong yeah. just by being there yeah 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 just and show get... it up See, but I'd and need to. I'd need to know I was winning because I couldn't get on stage with well, these. Ja- if like, if someone else in my division rocks up who just has to be like not overweight. Well, you just it's, it's just still a place. last minute thing. You don't. That's need true. It. You can just come in dressed as is. I could just find well, out no, that no I mean, I'd have to go. You'd have to. You'd have to go the whole. Have to, have to, <laughs> I'll borrow your undies <laughs> yeah, and I'll get up. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want new ones. <laughs> could you imagine yeah. how horrible a non-muscular <laughs> fake tan body would look? Um, I think Hamish of. You know, was it Hamish Blake? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it. actually, yeah, yeah. I think I actually remember something. I don't think they went to the Orange Civic Centre, though, to do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. That's no, what I'm looking at. Regional. Yeah. I want regional. regional. Yeah. But it, it's an exceptionally uncomfortable experience. And then, yeah, that first one, that was a real wake-up call. You know, exceptionally hostile. And then to win and, and whatnot. And then you're, I don't know, you're just standing out there extremely uncomfortably backstage for a while. You know, I, I was coached. For that first one, which I learnt my lesson from, I wouldn't do that again. What? what Who's coaching you? Like, what's the? Oh, just a local. But I just didn't know any better, you know. So what? He's like, I'm a bodybuilder coach or a posing coach. Is it you flexing? Yeah, you're flexing. You're you're doing all that. Um, Feeling like a real champion up there, and then, um, yeah, and you know that morning is oh the night before. I'm staying at my grandmother's in Orange, Mm. and he's messaging me saying, "All right, two shots of vodka, no water." I was like. To 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 dry out. Yeah, to dry. Oh, out. I so look. This is just, <laughs> what? This is just shrink down. Oh, yeah, yeah, it makes a huge up. difference. The yeah. the entire and then the entire like um, course of this coaching, if you will, was was only ever questioned by me yeah. to the point where I was saying, Brock, I'm pretty sure you look better than this guy. Like, <laughs> you think you should be taking his advice? He's like. Yeah, Joel, just like, trust me. Yeah, I've, just, paid my, I've paid my thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> paid a thousand bucks for this. Thousand bucks hmm. for how long? Uh, that was a bulking period and <laughs> then a cut which was just period, like oh which just peanut meant, butter every day just meant get fat like literally forcing myself it was worse than dieting and then cut down i just got skinny and then he um Good yeah him. two they shots of vodka the then money. wake up set your alarm for 3 a.m have two muffins I'm like he's serious he's like yep two muffins then 6 a.m go to macca's get you know a, a mcmuffin mm-hmm. and salt and black coffee um, this and is during the the Bulking. This is the morning. This was like no. This yeah. is like the morning of the competition. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what you do, you like starve yourself, I'm right? Confused. You starve yourself, which you don't have to do to look in incredible shape. Especially guys that are taking steroids. I've never understood this. You can look like they maintain a pretty low level of body fat year round. So like if you see any of those like, you know, those um like other animals like um cows and stuff that like have these outrageous test levels and they're just yeah. shredded. You know, right. this is what basically like other bodybuilders look that way, but they go to these extreme lengths of starving themselves leading up to the show. And then the morning of, you know, it's trying and like in, introduce all this glycogen to fill out the muscle because that's what oh, muscle is right. made up yeah. uh, vastly of like water and glycogen. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but then like it's, it, if anything, they end up eating stuff that they weren't eating that entire period of time, making themselves sick and look bloated and they still look sort of just as skinny. And so they're standing on they're stage sort of like cramping and, and like in, and they're all Jesus uncomfortably Christ. bloated. We've known people that have been shipped off to her hospital because they've Genuinely. fainted from di- too much diuretics and whatnot. Or they're in hospital the night before and then they'll turn up to the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should like be right. It's just an outrageous <laughs> sport. You Is know? It? That's wild. It's but it's so just, unnecessary. Like That's the, the worst part society. about it. Yeah. yeah. It seems like there would be some... <clears throat> like 
sad cases at some of these events. Like, is there sort of like I think of like the wrestler, where it's like dudes who have just sort of like dedicated their life to it, and they're probably on steroids 100%. and shit. Like, is there a lot of that sort of? Uh, yeah, it's the it's the be all and end all. You know, if they don't get a gold trophy, yeah, and like so hero in their sort of what is it, legend in your own lunchbox? Like these guys who <laughs> yeah, are like right. walking around the circuit who are like, <laughs> yeah, 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 telling you about their yeah, sort of heroics, I think about past yeah, out of people. you can picture it. Yeah, for sure. You've got yeah. the you got the right. I've got image. it right, yeah, dude. It yeah, sounds yeah. fantastic. It actually yeah. sounds like a subculture. I would and the best part and about it, sucks. this is what I love most about it, is it's so rewarding for the competitors. So as a competitor, you pay registration fees and then competition fees, and then for each category you want to go and you pay an extra additional amount of money, which could so be anywhere between like fifty and hundred. Sounds like you're trying to get your license at the RTA. They sting you at every fucking yeah. yeah. At every turn, yeah. 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 So you might end up as a male, you might end up paying three hundred fifty, four hundred bucks, and then wait, hold on, maybe more because you got to get your spray tan, you know. <laughs> So you might you might be paying four hundred fifty dollars just to stand on stage to be judged by a panel of people who've never put themselves through it before, you know. So yeah. and and it's even worse for females because then they gotta get their high heels and their, their sequined bikini, which costs like six hundred bucks. Dude. That's before they pay any registration fees. I can't believe those outfits cost that much either. They look the high heels part yeah. of it's so outrageous. Yeah, yeah. Well. I dare say we've converted many of your listeners into uh, the sport of bodybuilding well yeah. look uh, trust me most of them <laughs> were never in the never a hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would hazard yes but but since then just to quickly wrap it up we um we've competed since then and we kind of thought well this is a joke mm. like it really is it's and um so we've done it our own way you know we don't get the tan we've worn our own trunks which they specifically say you'll get disqualified for we'll go up and we'll do it how we want you know like kind of but you get emulate. disqualified for wearing your own for yeah, what, not wear, wearing like G-bangers. normal, normal yeah. size, really, trunks, you know, yeah. and the wrong colors and what, and we just thought, you know, it's stuff like we don't need validation from a table of people we can't see. Yeah. yeah, like we'd rather go and actually emulate how it used to be, like the original bodybuilders, yeah. you know. So, and if we stand up there looking like, you know, the only two somewhat normal ones amongst a bunch of guys that look like the Green Goblin, so be it, you know? And if we're disqualified, who cares? <laughs> yeah. And so. that's like, it's actually, um, I'm so thankful we did decide to do that after the first couple of competitions we did where we were sort of trying to follow the rules. Mm. What sort of coerced me more so into, you know, taking this route of just presenting it how we wanted to rather than what the judges wanted us to do was because I had a judge come up to me after a show and um, and say, look, you look fantastic, but like, did you do you want some critiquing? I said, no, that's a, that's all right, and and she insisted anyway. Yeah, she was saying, look, if you if you know you flexed your leg like this and you put your arms in this, like looking like a total tool. Yeah. You, if yeah. you looked like a total tool, which is how we want you to look, you would have placed higher. I said, so okay, hold on, let me get this straight. It's not about who looks best anymore. It's about who follows the rules best. She literally said yes. Oh, jeez. Cool. You just got to tick all the boxes. All right, no worries. I said thank you, and we left. And then the, we continued to compete two more times, maybe after that, but I did not pay attention at all to them i wanted to represent it like classic physique the way i thought it should be represented yeah. and it, i'm glad we did because it's what got me sort of recognition and then you know um this sort of this following we now have it actually stemmed from that someone right. having seen me at uh, the arnold's which is a bodybuilding competition and, and festival in, in melbourne someone seeing that and then forwarding it to this guy that you know makes bodybuilding content and sort of promoted me and spoke mm -hmm. about me and it, so it snowballed from there. Yeah, right. Mm. So I noticed you got quite a large following. So is that people that are uh, that are into the sort of the uh, homage to the old yeah, school? Yeah, I would say ninety nine or yeah ninety eight percent of the people that follow me are into that. Like, yes, that's why they follow me. Yeah, yeah. right. And others, what the other percentage is just like thirsty DMs. That oh yeah, do you get from you guys? Getting, well, yeah. Is it yeah, what's the pro good. what's the proportion of guys to girls in the DMs? Ninety. Nine percent, ninety nine point nine percent girl, um, girls. Guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> yeah, dudes yeah. rolling in, thirsty yeah. guys, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That, that doesn't that, surprise. No, me. that doesn't surprise. No. That doesn't surprise me at all. Women couldn't care less. No, no. Know? So, when you're up on stage, what are they looking for? Like in the back in the day, when you know, in the era that you're trying to pay homage to, what is the there, is, Yeah, there are the pose. Are there poses that are more paying respect to those times than say yeah. modern posing? And yeah, what I is think the physique it's... that would get you the win? Like, what, what, what are they looking for? What, def what separates you from the rest? Yeah, I think, I think what, I mean, I don't want to like, you know, I think what people see or recognize is that we're we're following, we're following suit. We're doing almost identically what these guys did. We're not going, 
oh, but the science today and this and that, we're not paying attention to what, you know, science might say is, is you know, is going to grant you the best results. It's, mm. what did these guys do? I'm going to listen to them because mm. I want to look like that. Mm. You know, so we listened to it to a T, ate the way they did, trained the way they did, and that's the result. You know, I think what, what people who want to look like that are doing is, you know, adapting all this modern day science and supplementation, thinking they're going to end up with the same result, but they're going to get there quicker and it, they don't look anything like that. And so they're scratching their heads. I think physique wise, the differences are, you know, we don't have absurdly large shoulders and, and, um, and quads. Mm. You know, and that, I think the yes. shoulder thing is largely due to steroids. You know, a lot of guys, and I know this personally, they inject from shoulder to shoulder you know, each injection. And it's only going to inflate the, the shoulders. So you know, is so it literally injecting? So if you were doing, so when you're doing steroids, you can just inject it into the actual muscle you want to get bigger? I don't, I don't know, I'm on steroids. Well, no, sorry, you were just saying like shoulder <laughs> to shoulder. Is that sort of what the go is though? Like, Yeah, I, don't, I think I think they inject it directly into the muscle. That they or, want to get I big? Or is it like, I'll just wet this, I'll oh, put it no, in my no, thigh no, and then no, it gets no, me bigger? No, or, but... But it Ask can it can add to it can add to the size of that muscle. Well, I it's believe quite because scar tissue. Right? Yeah, yeah, because you're creating ah, scar tissue. Okay. That's why you sort of get these like I don't know if it's something you have noticed, but we do obviously. You get these inflated shoulders, and they don't look separated, or they don't look they don't have like striations of muscles in there because they're quite inflamed and swollen to the point where you can even see like site injection marks. Right. You know, okay. so a lot of guys if they don't want that. They inject into their glutes, you know, some, somewhere that no one's going to see. Yeah. But you can, you, you still might end up with disproportionate shoulders and, and traps because that's um, and, uh, thin arms and what did I read? Like it's it's the the shoulders and, and, and traps are like what is it androgenic? What's it? I, I don't know. Whatever the word is, like they sort of get affected more so than any other muscle group. So you end up with this look where it's like absurd shoulders, absurd thighs, little skinny arms. You know, right. whereas the guys in the seventies and eighties had these absurd arms, like that was really their had these large upper bodies. But their shoulders weren't absurd, mm. and you know, big sort of, uh, you know, barrel chests they described them as, and then yeah. and then more aesthetically pleasing legs. You know, not not out of proportion, but just not yeah. the size we see today. Yeah. So I mean, it is tricky to kind of quantify what makes a winner. You know, they they call it balance, size, proportion symmetry you know I, this is why it's not in the olympics or anything because it's it's so subjective it's and, subjective yeah right okay. um so what then uh for for you guys right so like you're you're constantly i guess chasing improvements to sort of what you were talking about especially with you when you were younger do you think that uh, a sort of even if it's just a minor insecurity is almost important for what you do because like you're kind of constantly self you're evaluating how you're looking and like oh fuck like to me, you couldn't look better, but to yourself, you're like, there's something you're not, you want to, you know, like it, do you, when you see things on yourself that maybe you don't like, is it, I just need to get my muscles bigger or is it like, do you see fat on you somewhere basically? Yeah. Yeah. What were you going to say? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't I'd know say, if the Even though I didn't start off. No, no, no. If, even though I might not have started off with many self image issues, it's probably got worse over time because mm -hmm if you're trying to reach the pinnacle of what you think you can naturally do you kind of have to have that level of criticism self-criticism mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and i will look at myself in the mirror and go you know for goodness sake like you should be leaner you should be have you should be bigger in this area blah 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 mm -hmm. you know you've been running two hours a day like and it's you know always and and then maybe a year later i'll look at old photos and go oh i actually looked okay you know, yeah. but at the time, like you're almost, you're borderline disgusted. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you agree? Yeah, I'd agree. Like, I think I think it's actually in the in in bodybuilding, or if you want to pursue it, you know, professionally to become a bodybuilder, you got to be critical of yourself. But yeah. obviously, not not to the point where you're putting yourself down because that can hinder your results too. It can sort of it's prevented me from even wanting to go to the gym. I thought oh, I look so bad. What's the, what's the point? You know, I'm going to give up. You know, but. So it might take someone like a, a friend like you know brock or, and vice versa we try and encourage each other sometimes yeah. it gets like that where you're like you know if we we're taking photos for content or for ebooks and and, and um whatever it might be you know brock or myself we don't want photos taken because we think we look terrible you just have to say like just trust me like yeah you, you look ph phenomenal you know yeah. so you can it can get unhealthy but i think some you know, you know some level of criticism is is good you know but sure. it also goes the opposite way too where people who look terrible think they look phenomenal so mm, i'd probably rather be more critical than 
yeah. absolutely than delusional. Yeah. 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 I love yeah. terrific. Yeah. I love yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely those people. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Joel sends me a message every night saying, "Does my chest look any better?" Do you? <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, it's looks big. <laughs> and then I fall straight aside. Thank you very much. So, how do you recognize what you want to work on next? Because you know you could fall in the trap of being too self-critical about certain elements where, you know, the reality is maybe that you look great in that area. Like, how do you determine what you're going to focus on today or next week or yeah. month? Or do you just go a whole all-rounded approach? Yeah, I think, like, we've always tried to maintain consistency across the board, you know, for each muscle group. We'll yeah. train at the exact same, you know, the same intensity and the same frequency each week and whatnot. And so that's never really changed like we can honestly say our training and and diet hasn't changed that much since we started you know we've tweaked and we've learned a bit more and whatnot they our sessions will just become more intense hopefully mm. and and um yeah i think like there's there's not much you can do if you're if you're lacking in in one area or another you've just got to train it just as hard as yeah. everything else and hope it catches up what's your favorite muscle to train or just that like on your body like is there one where you're like dude i'm fucking really pleased with my yeah. training. Uh, yeah. is there one where like you know it's, you, it probably gives you the less amount like the least amount of stress Ish, or yeah. like issues emotionally you know like yeah for me it's my back okay yeah 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 because it's the one you can't it. see <laughs> <laughs> they're yeah. all terrible yeah. but at least i can't see that yeah. i have a good feeling it looks <laughs> all right back there yeah, yeah. yeah. No, i know it <laughs> <laughs> I say it's not it's not my favorite, but like the the comment I get most is is usually about my chest. So right. like I'd have to say like that's sort of the I don't. It's the fans' favorite. It's the fans' it's favorite. Fan favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think uh, I don't know. Does it get weird a, a little bit in that like it's so in any other in any other world it might seem a little homoerotic to be so like comment to comment <laughs> yeah, so much yeah, yeah. on like on another yeah. guy's body? It is. Did that take getting used to, or is it kind of once you're in it, you're just like some guy kind of going, "Dude, your chest is fucking out of this yeah, world." This world it too definitely this takes. Too. I think yeah. it definitely takes some getting used to. For me, for me, I didn't really receive that kind of attention until I first went to America, which was only last year. Mm. So right. I was just thrown in the deep end, where it was like I didn't know I had this fan base going over. Oh, so you got fans over in the states? Yeah, that's where most of our fans are. Oh, They're shit. not here. No one cares in Australia. Oh, okay, all yeah. right. Uh, so I think we get like I don't know I feel I feel like Australia is is predominantly that like we've taken on that meathead stereotype of bodybuilder, whereas right. America they seem way more like when I walk down Venice Beach they're like so appreciative and they go man I'm sick of seeing like you know they were more appreciative of what I did. Uh, okay. You know I'm like I didn't know you know people would be like that. Yeah. So when I went over it was like they just come up and touch you and stuff like it, it was so bizarre like I wouldn't if I went to Bondi here people looking and go. Put a shirt on, dude. Just sh like you, you know. You, yeah, there's a bit more. It's kind of tall poppy ish. Y yeah, bit, yeah. You know, it's like hundred percent. Look at this. You know, the yeah, yeah. You see it. You see it. Uh, it used to be like you'd see a super fat dude in a speedo and be like, "Come on, mate." You know, like. But now it's kind of now that's like, no, oh my god, he's so brave. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which which is inherently offensive to the guy. Like people try and make it seem it's like, yeah. oh my god, he's so brave. It's like why? Because he looks so horrible. It's yeah. brave that yeah, he's yeah. able to bring himself yeah. to do it. Because it took but, him three uh, hours to work up the shirt. courage to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stickers on. Yeah. His ass is eating him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. four hours to get dressed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, I've genuinely so had people laugh. At, uh, I've gone to Bondi Beach and had I've been in a speedo and people laugh at me. Really? Like that's th that's comedy now. <laughs> like, yeah, just, yeah uh, when you're right. going like, all right, I, yeah, cool. Dude. I mean, it doesn't bother me, but yeah, you definitely get a fair bit of that in Australia, yeah, but in America, long, long consolation phone call after that. Yeah, yeah you had to talk yeah. him talk him down off, yeah. the, off the ledge, mate. That one, I'm sure there was someone else that were laughing. They were at, laughing you know? at me. Yeah. Was it about my back? No, yeah. dude. Yeah, <laughs> look sick. Because like, so, I can't see it. Yeah. Trust me. Look, <laughs> send me some photos. I'll fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. But that, yeah, that doesn't surprise me that America's like that. They're very Americans are just a bit more nice. You walk down the street, no, they're like, they I love your T-shirt, and you're like, Yeah, right. Thanks, yeah. Man. Yes, that's right. exactly how it works. Hook horns. So well at the moment, you're killing it. But they pump up. Like they pump you up and they don't know you. So like I remember walking down the street in uh, like Louisiana or some shit and was with Steph and this girl walking past just goes, she's, oh my God, I love your shirt. So it's like, 
thank you so much. And just like, <laughs> and I'm like, that was lovely. That was yeah. so nice. I think if that happened here in Australia, you'd be very skeptical of that. I, d- I think I was getting trolled. Yeah, like, dude, yeah, no, yeah, sure. like, yeah. he's making yeah. fun of me. Yeah, I'm going to take it home and I'm going to burn it. I'm burning this. It's a shit shirt. I told you I shouldn't have bought it. I told you, Steph. It's a dumb shirt. It's a dumb fucking shirt. But I remember seeing all those photos of you in America. Like, there was some Grand Canyon stuff, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. Again, they were again aesthetically yeah, very pleasing. Stuff. But who was the guy you were with over there? There was so a that, guy that sort of frequented a lot of the photos, I think, or like yeah. maybe I'd seen him tagged and I went and sort of like yeah. explored him. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. came his name's Artemis Dolgan. And he came he, well, he didn't come, he organized the, the whole trip. I was right. gonna say he yeah. came across my um Instagram. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. Um well, he came across my Instagram when when I didn't have a very big following. And so he started talking to me online, you know. Uh, he didn't actually what was cool is something i always wanted to achieve was to confuse people as to like when these photos were actually taken i'll be i was mm. you know saying to broth i really love if people looked at it and go wait are these now is this guy from now or whatever and this guy artemis was like are these are you posting old photos or Hectic. like is this you or what? yeah you know, so i was like cool i uh, appreciated that and that's then, cool yeah i thought that was really cool yeah. like that's what i that's kind the of whole wanted. thing you're going for yeah right? yeah, in, yeah. In some yeah i did not see that come into fruition when yeah. you're telling I was like, yeah, right, maybe. Even, even before <laughs> I posted film any photos, film yeah. photos before I posted any film photos I said to Brock I'm like this is what I want to do and I really think it's going to like you know get us noticed and, and you should do it too and he's like okay, yeah sure sure whatever whatever yeah. and then he was like selfies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway he this guy Artemis like noticed me and then uh, invited me over to America and then he also sort of contributed to like the following I have now yeah so like very appreciative to him for that and then i was able to take brock over and the next time like he's like yeah bring your mate too do a tour like and mm. so yeah that tour was that about like going around and just getting photos in sort of iconic areas kind what of was the, he definitely he wanted shows a lot of and stuff there what was the what was it about it was initially what we wanted to do was travel the west coast of california and and um put on you know open workshops and cinema seminars and stuff and um, that that didn't go, you know, as according to plans we hoped, and like weather was terrible and this kind of thing. So we did a lot more travel than anything. But I don't know. I think because of you know weather and time constraints, we didn't get to do as much as we wanted. But we tried to go to like at least all these landmarks and stuff, and just have Artemis show us all these really cool, amazing places. Mm-hmm. But he also wanted to get heaps of content and like yeah. put it put it into mm-hmm. videos. And we took advantage of that, obviously, and just took heaps of rolls of film and. Yeah. But that was like that was that was a big trip. We cram, crammed a heck of a lot in, you know. And very thankful for him to organising that because mm. we got a he got the RV and whatnot, and we've just thrown all our stuff in there, thrown some weight plates in and whatnot. And and they were big days, you know. We kind of go from gym to gym and city right up the west coast. We went from LA, actually we went down first to San Diego, yeah, and then back up to like San Fran and and whatnot. Then right up to Portland, Oregon, you know, and this is Nevada, all in 10 days, Vegas. you know, oh, Nevada, fuck, really? Vegas. Yeah. And you're having to fit in training as well as mm. doing all that. We tried right? to train yeah, every day. Training. Which we, we had a little, did. the Weber, you know, the George yeah, Foreman. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. And yeah, we're cooking on the road and whatnot. And it was, that were, it was a really, really good time. Like to see all these places and to be able to do it by road was unreal. And we'd stop off at these gyms and there might be, you know, 15, 20 guys there that would rock up and all train together and chat. And to me, that was a bit surreal. It's like, these guys actually you know asking me for advice oh, they'd rock up to train with you yeah like, yeah you know, like oh we're gonna be here I'd be like, time yeah and tonight we'll, artemis would put we'll up a instagram story and say right, hey we're gonna right. be training at this yeah. gym if anyone wants to yeah was that I a bit know. surreal like when you've yeah. got these people you know when someone it's... turned to it i was like you're talking to me yeah, <laughs> yeah. really you ask it. It, it was really surreal and then you kind of get used to it and you get some interesting characters I bet. you know but you, you... what a really nice yeah nice bloke, yeah really so. nice guys yeah a couple of lost souls but there's they'll find their way yes but yeah, it was interesting there's... too just i think we were pretty much recorded the entire trip where we had a videographer there mm. and it was recording that was kind of weird too to sort of try and mm. portray yourselves normally but also like i don't know it was a bit trying to be normal strange. but yeah. also you're aware you're being filmed but yeah you're very conscious content, of it so you're also trying to yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. entertaining yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but but artemis is a very very interesting guy very driven you know he's he came from russia what 13 years ago i think to America and he set up this big, nothing. big clothing business. Trains, pro- it seems like four hours a day, you know, like nonstop. He's very, very dedicated and whatnot, and very generous, you know, with his time and and whatnot. And was put it on, you know, 
yes, it was for him to get content, but also for an experience yeah. for us. You know, we saw a lot of places that we we wouldn't otherwise. A lot of death defying experiences. You <laughs> oh, know, yeah, we were yeah. going through photos not that long ago, and some of these places we stopped. You know, and climbing down these muddy cliffs. You know, one wrong step, you're off. Yeah, that backed off into a like. Yeah. Like into a ravine, might have been like a yeah. fifty meter drop Jesus into the Christ. ocean, and yeah. for a photo, no. like is that sort of was it? Is it that sort of like you're chasing for no this? other reason mm. than a photo? Yeah, dude, yeah. dude that's like yeah. yeah, except that's like how Instagram chicks die. Yeah, you hear about that all the time. Falling yeah. off a cliff, just well like, at the Grand Canyon happens. actually. But there was that I think it was a tour guide yelling out Instagram kills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, yeah we're like, oh. I actually didn't even get that at the time. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. that's the reference he was making. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Slow burn because we had climbed down some rocks of this little sort of flat platform but it was a very small yeah. Spa- yeah, area so he was and yelling at it at you guys wasn't yeah. he yeah, oh yeah. right okay he was sort yeah. of trespassing as well yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know you gotta get the right shot so, well That's you right. wanna get well we are actually doing a, a, a workout there. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and people not just watch it, like proper work, <laughs> proper work. Yeah. 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 yeah, but that would look fucking dope. I imagine if you're at the Grand Canyon, you're doing some. Like, well, everyone it was, else it was, was yelling cool. that. Out, like, don't listen to him. It looks dope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keep going, dude. <laughs> you're back sure. fine. This is sick. Um, more than I bargained for. So you do like from the bu- back to like the business of being jacked as fuck. Like you've got more than muscle. Is that sorry? Is that what's called more yeah. than muscle? But you've got the podcast as well. Mm. You, I actually, again, not surprise, surprise, not a bodybuilder, but um, like watching the podcast, you guys have got a, you got a really good. Uh, now that I know that you went to school, you got a really good rapport and a back and forth. Uh, it's it's funny. You guys seem to be, as well as the aesthetic side of things, the little videos I've seen in the podcast as well. You also don't seem like you take yourselves too seriously, even though obviously it's a serious. The captions mm. on the Instagram yeah. as well, I really enjoy. Yeah, no, and you guys kind of talk it. shit yeah. to each other, and you you yeah. make a bit of fun of it. Is that that's conscious? Oh yeah, to do yeah, it yeah. differently. I, and I don't think I don't think you can take yourself too seriously if, if the industry you're in is is about oiling your body up and, and posing in a pair of spanks. Like, yes. Yeah. How yes. seriously can yeah. you take yourself? You're Are there many others anyone. like you though that don't that have uh, sort of yet to kind of come across it? Which is why I think we've made the choice. That, you know what? Like, let's try a hand with podcasting on. Uh, credit to you guys you pull it off well we struggle like the first one we did we sat there and we'd set everything up after five hours and we looked at each other like, going, oh what do we say <laughs> oh no yeah, but we were a bit the same yeah, yeah. well that's yeah. every let us, fucking time let us yeah you. we listened to the first one a while ago actually we oh, really? put it on the computer and it was make you see haggard, okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. but but we yeah we we definitely take the piss out of it because it shouldn't be taken seriously mm. and there's a lot of bodybuilding podcasts and videos and whatnot out there all taking it exceptionally serious you mm. know but um there's a lot to make fun of yeah so we're trying to capitalize on that you know so what's like the long game what's like the the dream mm. if you could get uh get it to where you want to get it to i sort of <laughs> want to be like the the ricky gervais of uh, bodybuilding you know in that in uh, not not Physique-wise. Physique-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> Not in the, you know, in the, the comedy sense, but in that he's like, he's not, he sort of he's he's made it on his own. He hasn't had to be a part of Hollywood in order yeah. to, to create that sort of success. And I want that sort of level of success for us, but not to have to be, you know, a part of anything. You know, I want to, yeah. I want to do it ourselves. Mm-hmm. And even to the point where like, I would love to make movies. You know what I mean? But I don't want to have to go through Hollywood in order to do that I don't want to go to that process right. so if we can do it ourselves and mm-hmm. so m- movies like acting or like documentary style oh both yeah. really yeah where's that bug come from you know what I mean like where's that sort of creative I think, I think it sort of goes hand in hand with like having sort of respect for these guys like Arnold and and Arnold I don't know well yeah <laughs> Arnie's the man yeah but like I, because I watched a lot of those movies and and sort of see them make success. Even like guys like Ricky Gervais, I have a lot of respect for. You know, anyone that sort of makes success without all this like additional sort of help or handouts. You know, mm-hmm. and they sort of create something out of nothing. Like that's what I have more respect for. And I think that just acting. I don't know. It's it's probably stems from that watching you know thousands of movies. Like I was actually always a James Dean fan. Like guys like that, like James Dean, old movies. So I have a lot. Like I do have a lot of respect for you know theater and, and craft yeah so i'd like to put the two together eventually you know do you possible. have any do you have any like monologues you'd like any, to prefer, yeah. that you'd like to present storylines <clears throat> is there any ideas bubbling like is that and again not that there has to be but i just you know 
it's just an interesting i didn't expect to hear it it's, it's interesting oh, okay. that sort of like no not so much not yeah. so much and, and actually the i already wanted i always wanted to be an actor but i heard um in a another some bodybuilding podcast on online like when classic physique was introduced not long ago someone say you know sort of make that that point that like we haven't seen a bodybuilder since arnold mm. you know, before arnold there's a guy like steve reeves and he mm. got into movies and then there was arnold and there's no one been there's been no one since no. and they've tried but it and i'm not saying i do like we've got great personalities but i think it's because they're like but they're, they're so focused on that they don't see anything outside of bodybuilding it's just nothing that they're going to venture into and maybe yeah. like i don't know if they've got personalities or not but that seems to hold people back too mm. so uh, i sort of i heard that and thought I don't know, maybe maybe it could be me, you know? And I thought, well, I don't know. I just want to pursue that. Do you mm. audition? You've done anything like that? or No, I've, I mean, I've done like, little things here and there. And um, uh, I've had like a fair bit of experience in doing like in front of the camera mm. type work and did like heaps of night classes years ago and loved it. So yeah. I want to eventually do more of that. But I want to focus on this now. Sure. So to use it as a stepping stone to do like bigger things. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. For me, it's it's not necessarily movies or anything. I just love, I don't really know where it's going to go, mm. but I love the business side of things. You know, like we started it just over a year ago now and, and we thought we weren't going to make the money back that it cost to set up the business, you know, but it surprised us and I love, you know, improving it, making products that are really good, very valuable, mm. you know, and it's it's our brand. So it's very easy to, to sell, you know, you're not yeah. trying to sell crap and... Mm for me yeah we're just trying to refine it and bring out more stuff and and whatnot yeah build the brand yeah yeah, yeah. really have no idea where it's gonna have you got merch like where do you oh have... we've that's in the process of creating it yeah, oh, yeah that's we've had some some issues we mm. um i've got a good mate over in pakistan who i met on the alibaba <laughs> chat room <laughs> and uh, and we thought all right let's just start with shorts let's get let's just pump one one product yeah, out yeah. you know and we got some shorts made up, you know, bought some and then got logos and photos, measurements, whatnot. We're corresponding. He's very good at communication. I'll give him that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And they've come in the mail and I was like a kid at Christmas, you know, and I thought, geez, these are light, but I trust him and he's assured me they're right. Opened it up. Like, he's packed them efficiently. <laughs> like these are small. Vacuum sealed. Yeah. yeah. Open them up. Small. And Joel's got a, a little two year old daughter, and they were snug on her. Like, they oh, were. Oh, shit. Yeah. And I've called him up. We're on FaceTime. I said, Zashan, like, you assured me they were going to be right. And they're great quality. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's just the measurements that are slightly off. And I sent him a photo, and he's cracking up. I just thought it was an interesting response. <laughs> and um, well, and you he, don't laugh to I cry. said, you saw, yeah. our, you saw our website, right? He said, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's funny. We had some, some guys in the factory ask why these guys who were somewhat big asking for exceptionally small shorts. I said, you didn't, you didn't think to ask? You go, nah, nah, I'll just send them off. So it's an ongoing battle, you yeah. know? So what did he get wrong? Inches to centimeters or something? No, no, no. he read uh, diameter as circumference. That'll get so, you. That well, will get well, you. It wasn't, get you. Yeah. Was it just that? There was a couple of other. There are a couple of, we don't know. We've made, yeah. The no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> there's, been, there's been several tweaks made yeah. and several you know pairs sent out um but we're perfectionists so we want to yeah. get it right and then yeah. we'll just start start small we'll get some shorts and shirts and whatnot and then because that's that's also very untapped you know like since this kind of movement away from classic bodybuilding now it's all like you know dungeon outfits and mm. like these dungeon big loud outfits. things you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but you it's all I mean? it's all the same product coming out of the same factories yeah, with just, a different label on it yeah, you know yeah, like right. have you heard of gymshark and stuff like i have heard of gymshark yes. like uh, like i have a, i have some respect for that company because from what i've heard it was uh, one or two guys like making this stuff from home like making it by hand you yeah. know that's how they started their Hustling. brand yeah mm. and then they so they had these sort of um prototypes if you will that they could then have factories you know make for them but now you know if you want to expand your business what do you do you you allow other people to put their branding on your products and that's all that we're seeing in the market people go oh i love these tights but they're exact same as your other they just have a different yeah. logo on it yeah you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. people same don't factory. seem to realize that same material yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so we're trying yeah. to bring back the short shorts and you know, like some of the more though. the ringers and, and yeah. whatnot and yeah. we we just want to get the quality right and then we'll We'll launch it, yeah. And we know too, like it's kind of an it's it's gonna it's, maybe it's always gonna be a niche thing, yes. you know, the short shorts. But 
guys are asking for it. You know, our followers are saying, yeah, we've seen other companies try and do it, but they just, they fall short. It's still like obnoxious labeling or, yeah. you know, obscure colors or, or they're a little bit too long, you know? Yeah. So we want to make it really authentic, you know? So to reflect our image, really sure. authentic looking 70s, 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. We want it to be dangerous for the well endowed, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The sheriff wouldn't be able to wear it. Yeah. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't at all. Adam Elliott, oh, biggest hog good. in town. Um, okay, well, look, just in finishing, where, if uh, we've got any punters and dribbles out there who want to get swole, where can they go and find all of your your personal Instagrams and your, your more than muscle and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, so um, on Instagram, Joel's overkel, over K E double L. I'm Brock War, and then our, our website's morethanmuscle.com.au. Uh, we've got a range of, you know, fairly low-cost e-books and whatnot. I mean, it's applicable to everyone, you know, beginners, advanced and whatnot. Male, female, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're decent. They're, we're confident in the products, you know, and it's, yeah. I think, yeah, it doesn't matter who you are there. They're pretty relevant. Nice. nice. Mm. Before we go, who, who could win an arm wrestle between you boys? Well, yeah, Brock, because I, I, Brock, because I wouldn't dare after seeing too many. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, went snapping snaps. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, That's yeah, a good you point. Yeah, you can. That. No, I've, yeah. I haven't arm wrestled since those videos. Uh, yeah. was, yeah. There was one on the footy show, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wendell exactly. Taylor. That's exactly what it and was. And dude, the the, the X ray of that is like it's not just like a snap. It was called a spiral fracture. So the bone, oh. like a wine bottle opener, like the bone was spiral broken the whole way through. So it's just like traumatic. Trauma. Jeez. Trauma, trauma, trauma. I'm like, fuck I'm getting, no arm feel, I'm getting that feeling of like, I'd never back out, but no. I'll take the win, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to Brock. Well, before you were, uh, how, what, how much are you, what's the, what is the greatest indicator, not necessarily the greatest, but the most sort of respected indicator of strength in the bodybuilding game? Or is strength not so much the couldn't concern. care less couldn't like, give a shit, the right? stuff we lift right. hasn't really changed you know I've got totally okay. yeah so it gets yeah. stronger yeah like you don't necessarily oh, you, you, you can might, but and it, you will a little bit not that much no. and if you focus on just the weights you'll never look that because over time too I mean when we started you know we might be lifting roughly the same amount of weight but we were probably lifting it incorrectly when we started and over time it's like the idea is to try and get the most out of the least amount of weight so that rather than okay. you know potentially injuring your, your tendons and ligaments and you know mm. bones um or tearing muscles your your focus is on building the muscle getting the most out of right. less you know mm. yeah i've actually now got another question what's recovery like like mm. what are you doing to recover after a session there's no, no specific thing Nothing. it's just it's just diet and then trying to get as much sleep as possible how much a good quality sleep i mean i, I would love to get eight or nine that's not really possible mm. but um i'm a big eight guy big mm. believer yeah, yeah yeah have a kid then <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that's well, I'm in the same boat. Yeah, yeah. You, that's you, why you're stopping in, me. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's not just like you could go to you know, and you can relate now. You can go to bed at a reasonable hour, but you to get broken sleep is the worst. And yeah. Brock sort of, even though Brock doesn't have a kid, he experiences it because he has night terrors. <laughs> <laughs> Of, of when he finally sees his back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not what he thinks it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I um, yeah, lose a lot of sleep over that. But, <laughs> yeah. I mean, recovery-wise, it's there's not that much you can do. Most people say you need to recover as much as possible. That's usually because they just don't want to go back to the gym. Mm. So, Yeah. Whatever can validate their laziness. laziness. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah. That's, again, tricky. Yeah, you've got to have two days off, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You it's funny. Yeah. It's, we get like skin, little skinny fat dudes at the gym. Test. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get like little skinny fat dudes at the gym tell us like what we should and shouldn't be doing. Like, uh, I, think, yeah. I think I'm okay. Nice. He goes, no, you definitely. Like, how, so, so how often do you train? Yeah, uh, maybe like, you know, I train twice a day, every day. And they go, no, that's way too much. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. is it? All right. Thank, thanks. Thanks bro. for the hot tip. But yeah. that's everything, right? That's yeah. 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 It's just some, oh, yeah. but some like soft body guy sliding up to these <laughs> in the gym, being like, you know, wanting to just ask questions more than anything. Yeah. It's like when you see someone go up to a famous person at a pub or something, and they're starting annoying him, and then start giving fucking advice. Yeah, yeah. life yeah. advice. That's fantastic. Yeah. Fellas, thank you so much for coming in. Really appreciate Thanks for having it. Us. No more appreciate than muscle it. Yeah. for any of you uh, budding bodybuilders out there. Mm -hmm. um, cheers. Thank Jeez, you, boys. Thanks Thank again. You